All right, here we are. I'm going to show you a very easy way to create a custom route in MapSource. Now, this is a program that comes free with, um, or used to come free with the Garmin GPSs. Now, it come, I believe it comes with Basecamp. However, you can still get MapSource. Or if you're, have, you're struggling with Basecamp, um, MapSource is still available. You'll hear that they don't update it, and that just means you won't get any updates for new roads or new restaurants, stuff like that, um, which I don't really care because all the new roads that are out there are highways, and I don't use this for finding restaurants and hotels. I use it for finding roads, and most of the roads that I want to use it for have been there forever. I'm not looking for new stuff. So that being said, we were talking about how sometimes it's hard for people to follow back roads if they don't have a GPS or if they're just using their phone GPS. So here's a map of Pennsylvania. So I'm going to zoom in a little close and I just know this just because where I was, but right over here is where the um, this is the Holiday Inn where I stayed. So what's going to do a Holiday Inn? We're going to do a route from that Holiday Inn. Now let's zoom back out and let's put it over near Milford, PA. All right. So this is going to create a route and it's going to give me, you can have it set for no highways, um, no toll roads, but pretty much is going to give you the quickest time. So it's going to, so as you can see, it's putting us over the Delaware water gap, but we don't want to do that. We want to find little back roads. So this is how I do it. I look at the map and I can see all these little back roads all over the place, right? Which would be kind of hard. Look at all of these little turns. It'd be kind of hard to follow that on a map, especially if you don't know where you're going. But having the GPS help following that while you're riding is much easier. So all you need to do is click on this little tool right here, selection tool, that highlights the route and it allows you to manipulate it a little bit. So I want to come down here. I want to follow this little road right here because that looks pretty cool. So we'll grab it. I'm going to put it right there. So it's going to put me on that little road. But see, it still wants me to get back. So you just got to do a little bit of customizing it. We'll put it right there. And there we go. Now I want to go up this 611 over here. So I'm going to do the same thing. So let's put it right there in forks and see what it does still gets me on the highway I want to get off that highway I want to come over here a little bit so it gets me through the town now look at this little road that looks nice that road looks nice and twisty so we're still on the map tool the what's it called it's called the selection tool you just keep you right click to grab it and then you move it to where you want to go all right, now this is the Delaware Water Gap Road. So if you click up here on that little hand, that allows you to move the map without having to, you just right click and hold it down. We want to go on this little section of the Delaware Water Gap because it's a nice little back road. So again, you go back up here, selection tool, just right click. And when you let go of the right click, it, it just gives you this little rubber band effect. You move it there. Uh, I'll see sometimes it will now because we want to go there so we need to just manipulate it a little bit more right there okay so it's putting us down that way I think this road's closed so that might be why but let's see nope we can do that all right so now it puts us up on that little road that we want to go to right so it created this we, we created the route to go from the hotel to Milford on the little back roads that I wanted to go to go on. Now I know a lot of these roads, so I was able to pick them. But what I'll do, and as you can see, that took me five minutes, if that. And then up here, send to device, you send it to your GPS, open it up when you're down at the hotel, and boom, you just follow it. 
and you'll be able to file all those little tiny back roads. So um, let's say you want to go on, you want to go on roads that you've never been on. Like look at all these, this is how I came down to Pennsylvania. I was on all these little back roads. And this is how I did it as I zoomed in on my map and I kind of looked. And if you zoom way in, you can tell one more click probably. This shows you where all the hotels and the stores and everything is. So then you can tell like this little back road, you don't want to come through here because it's, it's a big city. So these little roads, they're all nothing on them. There's a vineyard on that, so it probably goes through farms. And um, I'll even go one step further as I'll go onto Google Maps. If I see like a road like this road, look at those curves there. I'll go on the Google Maps and just see if that road actually really does exist or if it's paved. A lot of times this program will have dirt roads. They're like, we see if we can find one. Here's a dirt road right here. And some of those dirt roads don't go through. Of course, they do go through, but Map Source doesn't think they, they go through. So, but sometimes I'll go on Google Maps and I'll, I'll, um, I'll just double check on the road, see what it looks like. So that's pretty simple really really easy and um, and you got the whole country to work on here I'm gonna bring that down so there's less stuff but on this program you got the entire country that you can work on so you can find a little spot that you want to go and that's how I went out to Pittsburgh last year from Massachusetts to Pittsburgh I just put a route I started here ended there and I let it decide which way to take me and then I zoomed in where I found the route and got myself off of the highways and just spent some time. And I found out from either reading the mess, uh, online uh, websites about different roads or a lot of times I just use this. I'm like, when you see that road, yeah, that's a nice twisty road. So I put my, my route on there. So it's very, very easy to create a back road route and follow it with a GPS. That's it.